Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. As we have gone through two beauty boxes, I figured why not throw in the April Ipsy. And I love these bags, so, you know. Does anybody else save their bags from Ipsy? Do you <laughs> repurpose? That must be the craft person in me because I think I have every single Ipsy bag I've ever gotten. And it's been a long time, so yeah, I think. Okay, moving right along. This month's bag is a little different. Um, I love the color. The color is great. It's like a coral color. And I'm going to apologize for the glare and the lighting, uh, but I'm in a situation today where I need to get some things up for you guys, and I do not have the correct lighting, so please bear with me. Um, anyway, back to the bag. I'm not feeling this whole ticket thing. I, I'm, this ruined it for me. And... You know, they usually have the little, the little Ipsy in like gold or rose gold or bronze or whatever. Not this month. It's just this really kind of tacky looking loop with Ipsy, you know, embedded into the pleather. Um, when you open it up, it doesn't have much space inside it doesn't have you know some of the bags that we've gotten are really nice size bags not this one um but anyway let me get everything out of here and then we will go over the items and again this is the bag without anything in it. Like I said, it's like a coral color. Um, and it just says ticket. It's supposed to look like a ticket stub, so. Like, some people may love it. I'm not excited about it. <laughs> I will not be giving this away as a gift or a filler item for anything. That would be a no-go. Okay, first of all, every month I get one and I will never complain because you can never have too many makeup brushes. Let me take this one out of the packaging. And it is an XOXO brush. Um, it has unicorns on it. Okay. Unicorns and rainbows and butterflies. As long as it works, I'm okay, but it's... You know, I'm used to getting the, um, let me turn this up, <laughs> turn this the right way up so you can see the unicorns and the butterflies and the rainbow colors. But I'm used to getting either the solid black, like the elf type makeup brushes, or the makeup brushes that are like rose gold and pink. I like those a lot better. Unicorns and butterflies and rainbows are just not my thing. With a little pink on the end. Now, this is a very soft brush. Um, this would be great for uh, highlighting. Um, if you you know you don't want to you don't want to get a lot on the brush, just you know tap and it's very light very light and very pliable. It moves very well, so that would be great for highlighting or con even contouring. Um, so that would work great. 
On to the next item, we have Show Me Your Glow. And I do apologize, but I gotta put my other set of eyes on to be able to see this. Shimmer, Shadow, and Highlighter. Okay, let's see what it looks like. There you go. It's just a beigey cream, more of a cream eyeshadow. Very shimmery. I would probably use that for highlighting more than I would for shadow. But um, very pretty color. Here we have P.S. Cosmic Cosmeceutical. Some of these. Infused nail lacquer. It's infused with grapefruit seed extract, which is known for its medicinal uses as an anti antimicrobial antifungal. See what color this is oh this is a pretty nude now there are times when I I'm one of I'm one of those people that I either like a nude or like this very light blush pink that I have on right now or I want like a bright red a bright coral um, you know when during football season because the uniforms are blue navy blue and gold um, for the college my son plays football for, I will get, uh, like a gel, um, by OPI. It's like a navy blue gel. And then, um, do one accent nail in gold. And that's about as crazy as I get. So it's either bright, bright red, classic red nails, um, or very natural polish, or of course, a French manicure. But this is the color that I received, and it's just a very nude color, and I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, and next we have H2O Plus Beauty Elements Keep It Fresh Face Cleanser. The ultimate in cleansing and hydration for normal to dry skin. So it says you only need a coin sized portion on your fingertip or your facial brush and delic delicately massage all over damp face for 30 to 60 seconds. Rinse with water to remove and use daily. So we have a facial cleanser to try and that's a that's a pretty good size sample that's that's a nice size sample we give you a chance to have you know at least a couple weeks to see how your face is going to react and different things and um, I don't know if usually most people don't know but I am a licensed cosmetologist so I do know that whenever you change cleansers or you start a cleansing routine you can always expect to have a breakout because that cleanser is bringing all the impurities out into the surface. So it's not, it's not making you have acne. It's actually get, it's gotta get worse before it gets better um, with some people. So keep that in mind whenever you try a new product on your face or on your skin. And then we have by ColourPop.com a cream gel liner and it's in the color swerve and take a look here swerve to them is black <clears throat> so pretty much a full-size pencil black on the end and it has the twist up uh, 
end here so you can get a real fine line or you can use it sideways and get a darker line. Oh, it's very easy to apply, very soft. Does not pull your skin at all. Let me see here. Kind of see, we got the, the black. So, okay. Well, that is it for my April Ipsy bag. So, I hope you have enjoyed my explanation. Um, as most of you know, if you've been with me for very long, I do not do any editing of my videos. Um, I do not have time, nor do I have the patience. And to me, I just want you to see me. If I screw up, I screw up. Everybody screws up at some point in a conversation, you know, in a day. So it, it's just the real me. I just want to keep it real. You know, I don't want to try to be someone that I'm not. I don't want you to think I'm someone that I'm not. I'm just your average 40-something-year-old mom, wife, daughter, caretaker of my mother in corn country, Indiana. Uh, just trying to... Uh, just trying to get by and dealing with everything and all the stress that life can bring upon us, whether we're ready for it or not. So with that being said, I will see you next time. Don't forget to hit the red subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up and comment. And I will try to reply to you as soon as I see your comments. So thanks for joining me. And until next time, bye-bye.